there, it's April Franks Hunt, your instructor, lifestyle, and business architect, helping entrepreneurs build brand savvy and sustainable businesses. I'm here today to give you this tutorial on how to use MailChimp to assist you in creating and building your platform and building a list, which is something that most many entrepreneurs in the beginning forget to do is build a list to have a tribe to stay in contact with them. This video is not about building a newsletter. This video is about how to create your list and how to create a form that you can use for multiple purposes. So let's get started. First you're going to go to MailChimp.com and you're going to sign up for a free account. I'm going to walk you through the process just to show you how simple it is. MailChimp is similar to other services that provide email marketing services. Okay, so it's one of those services that will help you send out newsletters, create um, different campaigns, also has an autoresponder component to it, um, several things that will help you as a small business owner. So as you sign up for your free account, it's so you put in your email, user, password, and create. As that is generating, what's going to pop up is going to be, of course, um, that we need to activate it. So we're going to pause this video and go to activate it. Okay, and here we are. Once you go through a confirmation process and entering in your business information as far as your address and your website, this is the page you come to, the Get Starting page. So we're just going to click Get Started here. And this is the new dashboard. Um, they've just uh, changed over the last month, and, and this is the new, the new dashboard. So we're just going to dismiss this information and get right to the training. So the first thing you want to do, as you can see on your side here, uh, it'll, it'll have your name. And then you have campaigns, lists, reports, autoresponders, and search in case you get uh, lost or you need some help and within their uh, tech support program. So you're going to click lists, the first thing. You're going to create a list. Right now we don't have any, so you're going to click create right over here. And you're going to name a list. This is my, let, let's just call this our general sign up list okay the default from name what that means is what is it going to be in your email in the email where does it say that it's coming from okay and then this is the email here that it says where when people hit the reply button where it will go where your notifications will go and so on and so forth it acts also for a default subject no worries uh, you can you're going to change that every time you you build a campaign so no worries about that and then this one here remind people how they got on your list very important and typically I just put something here that says thanks for signing up via Facebook or our website and usually I'll list the website as well. Just so sometimes people forget what they sign up for. And then it will ask you about your notifications. I usually click daily summary just because I don't want a bunch of one by one emails in my inbox. But that's your preference. And then I click the save button. So now you've created a list. Why is that important? Because it's important. You need to identify which segment of your audience are you specifically speaking to. So what that says is, you know, this is your general list. This may be the form, which we're about to create a form that you may put on your website for people to opt into. Or alternatively, this could be not the form on your website, but perhaps um, the form that you put on your Facebook. So if you wanted to differentiate the traffic and what's going on with those specific parties, then what you could do is create another list. So that way you know exactly where certain people are coming from. And then each list that you create will have its own code. And when people sign up or opt in, then you'll know exactly who is who and where they came from and what what marketing efforts of yours are working okay also within the list area you can also build and create um, groups as well the group function enables you to um, break down a list so it may say you know for instance Facebook offers and then that may be the name of your list and then within Facebook offers you can have different uh, offers that you're providing and each one of those offers will be can have a different form and then 
when people sign up for those offers, then those specific forms or those specific people go to that specific list. So I hope that wasn't confusing for you. So as you can see here, also before we build the form, and I show you the process for that, if you once you create your list, we're in general, you can click this button here, this plus button, and you can actually add subscribers. So let's say for instance, you met someone and or you held a, a workshop or something like that and you took a sign in sheet and said if you know sign up here if you want to be added to our, our list for goodies or what have you well this is where you'd add them here and there's other ways you can add them as well but this is just one simple way from this dashboard okay just to show you that now sign up forms you're going to click right here next to stats to drop down click on sign up forms your sign up form is important because you have to have it. That is what platform and list building um, is about, specifically list building. So it asks you several questions. Are you doing general forms? Are you going to embed forms? Or you're doing form integrations? For today, just to get started, we're going to do a general form. But as you can see down here, this does allow you to do Facebook forms where you can add a Facebook form to your web to your Facebook page and also tablet forms so this is where you can collect signups in the store or you know you have a kiosk using maybe a, a tablet or iPad or, or what have you uh, Samsung device whatever it is so you have different options but for today we're going to create a general form that can be used for most things including Facebook and tablets so we're going to click select now as you can see the first thing that pops up I want you to pay close attention to is this area right here create forms remember we're in the general list okay we're working with our general list and let's for this demonstration let's say that this is the one that's going to be on our main website so you can select which these are all different forms this is kind of the process people go through they sign up they get a sign up thank you page they get an opt-in confirmation email they get a confirmation thank you page and you can turn some of these off and on but this is kind of the norm right just when you opt into things you know you get a confirmation saying that you did and so on and so forth same thing same thing so the sign up page right here when you scroll down it already has some basics right now let's say you don't have a website right now and you want to use this whether you have a website or not you can still use this because there's going to be a code that you can either use to generate um, uh, that will generate a URL or an embed code that you can embed into your website which you can use your own design and just use these fields so what you want to do is put in the fields that are going to be most important that you want for your form keep in mind the more fields the, the lower your opt-in rate will be so typically email and first name is pretty typical if you wanted to add a welcome message here you could when you open that up it looks just like a word document welcome and thank you for signing up uh, confirm you know you may say something like confirm your email for the free gift for your free gift right because let's say you were offering them something so that's what you do and you can change it work it just like word hyperlink it do all those fancy great things save it and then it'll pop up right there right up here you can also because remember all of this is going to show up when you, we generate that link here shortly in just a couple of seconds so let's just say for the purposes of this video we are going to oh there's no images because this is a new account so let's just grab an image right now so let's just use this image we're going to upload it this gives you the opportunity to um, use a, a nice image I'm just changing the size here just because I know what the sizes are um, to personalize it and to put your brand on that specific image so that gives you that opportunity right I didn't center it or anything but I'll go back to that but this just gives you an example so you get it you get an opportunity to create a nice little form you can you know do some of those things and if you want to capture like their phone number all you do is click phone and then it would then add that that section to your list so once you're done we're gonna click save we'll leave that there just for the purposes of this video so we can get finished so you once you do that 
then you click on there's no save button did you all see that there was no save right you just saved the specific field but everything you do in the form once it's saved over here is already is already saved then you click on design it if there were things you wanted to change like the background or, or if you wanted to put some CSS code in there or what have you then you can do that if you want to change this to white the background then you could change that to white right so that's how you'd do that okay now that just took that gray off right so that looks a little sleeker especially with the with the logo up there so that looks a little better right but you could do that I don't do very much with the design to be quite honest with you then we have a translated I don't do anything with translate and then we click on share boom this is it this is how you automatically you see that it's been just a few minutes you have your list it has your branding on it for the purposes of this video this is not perfect okay but you get the point you get the gist of it if you've been following along as well then you should be able to create this for yourself so you have a couple things going on on the share it page on the share it tab rather subscribe form to URL right subscribe form URL I can actually take this link copy it open up a new tab on my computer paste it and this will be what pops up that's what you can share you can share that online you can share it in emails to your clients um, you can give away things so just like we clicked on here to edit this and when that opened up you can actually put an offer here you know you can say you know we can put let's just really quickly grab something that I may have let's see here there's an event that I spoke at so we're gonna grab that image throw it in there save and insert the image save the content and now look okay so it isn't perfect because we're not we're, we're getting through the basics we're not trying to be perfect here but I want you to get the understanding of how simple this is so now when people click on this form again I'm gonna take this form actually I'm just gonna open it in a new tab here's our form and now what it has the information for the event so if you were promoting an event and you wanted people to sign up um, or you know if it was a free event or something to that nature you could definitely use that and the benefit is that they're going on to your mailing list they're you there you're growing your platform by each person opting in to that you can also use the QR code that is automatically provided to you in different sizes that you can promote and share and use in different marketing materials that people can scan and then alternatively if you're gonna hyperlink this into uh, some other code or website then here's the code for that it's that simple and then once you get started with the list building then you'll start creating campaigns and campaigns all they are is emails they call campaigns email so for every campaign you create a uh, you select which list you want it to go to based on their interest based on how they found you and how they signed up so this has been the tutorial on list building using and how to create a simple form using MailChimp for free and you can find out more information about MailChimp by visiting MailChimp.com you can connect with me April Franks Hunt via my website at aprilfranks.com or on Facebook just Google women recharge and I will see you there if you have questions you know how to ask thanks so much for your attention and happy list building